What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a tool that I use that really helps me get more stable footage, both pictures and video. It definitely helps me just bring up a, a better quality product to the channel, to like Instagram posts and all that good stuff. So without further ado, this is my homemade camera stabilizer. It is made out of PVC piping, some hardware. All in all, you can build one of these for probably less than $15. Very easy, very cheap DIY. If I can save some money and help you guys in the process, then I'm definitely down to do that. But this is most definitely a Broke Boys project. Let's head over to the hardware store, grab what we need, and get started on this build. Let's take the uh, daily here. Made it. So we're gonna need a thing of three quarter inch. This is five feet. You really only need four. We're gonna need two three quarter inch T pieces. Make sure you get the ones that are smooth inside and don't have the threading. You're gonna need four 90 degree bend, also three quarter inch. And I'm also gonna grab one three quarter inch cap. We're gonna need a single bolt that is quarter inch by two inches. We're only gonna need one of these, but we've got three pack and it's quarter inch by three inch. A two pack of quarter inch wing nuts. And lastly, I'm gonna pick up a washer that is also quarter inch. All in all, all these parts cost me $11.54. So we are $12 into the build, which is already below the $15 amount. Babe looking real nice. Looks like the massive truck that hit me. If you guys didn't check out my last video, go check that out. The Prelude got rear-ended. It is what it is, but if you guys missed that, go back, check it out, and come right back here. But we did get everything that we need, so now we can go back home and get this DIY build all done. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please uh, consider going down right there, or maybe right over there. Hit that button, it really helps out the channel and definitely mean the world to me. I think we're, if by the time this video comes out, I might have already hit a thousand, I'm not sure, but I appreciate each and every one of you. I actually want to give a huge shout out to my friend Sway Casey, or Sway if you may know him by that. He is a musician, rapper, creates beats, creates all sorts of instrumentals, and he's actually the one who provided me with the music for this vlog, so thank you Sway. I'll put a link down below to his website and SoundCloud so you can go check him out. Make sure you show him some love. Thanks Sway. Back home now and I've got everything that we need to get this project done laid out so I'll show you everything you're gonna need to make this happen. I've cut up the pieces and I'll go over the sizes once we start putting it together but I did have Home Depot cut it. If you ask nicely they'll usually, or Lowe's, sorry, uh, they'll usually cut it for you and to what segments you need. Just say please and ask nicely. We've got our 90 degree pieces here, our two T pieces here, a end cap which I actually didn't use on the last one. I'm gonna end up putting it on the end of the handle which I think will be a cool addition. We've got all the hard Hardware, washer, rest of the hardware we need. A little bit of super glue would come in handy, and you're gonna need a drill so you can put some holes into the PVC to put these screws through. For starters, go ahead and grab some of your small, these are four inch pieces. You're gonna take one T piece and attach it like that, and then one on the other side, like so, and then do the same with these two pieces. So now we've got our top and bottom to the whole assembly. Next, you want to take your longer pieces. These are 10 inches. You want to attach a elbow piece to each side of those and make sure the elbows are pointing in the same direction, kind of like that. And we'll assemble the next one. We'll take the handle here and put our new addition on. I guess this would be camera stabilizer edition two, 2.0 and we're just gonna put it on one end of the handle. And now we're gonna basically assemble the whole thing. So take your bottom piece, take one long side piece, you're gonna make basically a square. Take your other side piece, put it on the other side. Take your top piece and put it in these right here. And now we've got our nice square. So for the top, you want to rotate this T piece I guess towards you, like that. You can take the handle and we'll put it in there. You basically wanna drill a hole right here. So not too close to the edge, but not too close to this part. You wanna find like right around there. Drill a hole so that way you can put a screw through it 
and that will secure the handle so you don't have to worry about that falling off. And it's also basically removable at that point, so if you didn't want to use the handle, you could take it off. And I disassembled it just to make it easier to drill, but find your spot, center it, and then let's make the hole. You guys are wanna go all the way through, so keep drilling. So now you should have a piece like that. We're gonna go ahead and take one of our two inch screws and that should feed through. I apparently did not make a big enough hole. I'm gonna go ahead and go up one size on the drill bit and re-drill it. Whoa! Yeah. Gotta hold that. So now this screw should slip right through that whole assembly. We're gonna go ahead and open up our wing nuts, thread one wing nut onto this end here. So now we've got this hole drilled on the bottom, uh, pretty center, I think. Now we're gonna go ahead and take one of our three inch screws here, and you're gonna basically thread this so that way the screw inside is on the bottom, and you're gonna come up through that hole right there. One thing that I did is I take these washers here and I basically super glue it to this rim right here so that way it will sit over the screw itself and kind of hold it center as well. It also doesn't damage the camera being right on the PVC. You've got this nice rubber gasket here, which should help. And just try and center it best you can and hold it for probably like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute and that should help secure it. So now that we've given this a couple minutes to dry and secure to it, let's go ahead and take this screw back out and you're gonna wanna take a wing nut and screw it onto the screw before you put it back in. And put the screw with the wing nut back in. The wing nut is basically going to be used to size it. So your camera really only needs maybe about that much thread right here. So just kind of play with it and figure out what your camera requires. And then once you get this set correctly, just screw the wing nut so that way it's now tight up against the PVC. So it should be somewhat like that. And then when you screw on the camera, which I can't really show you right now because I'm using it to record, but once you screw the camera on, it will basically create a pull this way and the nut will keep it pulling this way. So it creates a nice secure tension on there and you don't have to worry about your camera flying off. Lastly, let's go ahead and take the handle piece again and put it back in there like that. Get the handle nice and straight and that is pretty much it. And there you have it, your DIY homemade camera stabilizer. You've got the option to hold it like so and get kind of those panoramic shots or you can take the handle off and hold it on each side to maybe get those ground level shots or wherever you're using it for. You can just grip it on each side. You don't need to use the handle. It's pretty convenient and I actually did make this one just a little bit smaller than this one. Not by a lot. So if you look at them side by side this one's I don't know maybe another inch taller even if you're using a large DSLR I mean my camera takes up this much space so you have all this extra and I figured why not just minimize it a little bit less weight a little bit less plastic to work with you might be asking like Connor why didn't we paint it it's white it's got PVC writing all over it, it looks stupid this is where you guys come into play I want you guys to go down below in the comments comment a color that you enjoy and one thing you really like about this channel I'm basically gonna go through the comments pick someone out of the comments and I'm gonna paint this the color you chose and I'm gonna mail it to you this is going to be your camera stabilizer so go in the comments down below put down a color that you would want your stabilizer to be painted within reason don't give me like holographic or like color change you know just simple like spray can colors you know red green, blue, black, whatever. Go in the comments down below, put a color, and one thing that you really enjoy about this channel, I think 
I try to promote a lot of positivity. Well, there's there's all different aspects to this channel that, you know, I'm curious to see what you guys like the most out of it. Put that down below. Make sure you give this video a big like. I believe now we are past 1,000, so I'm gonna make a whole video on getting past 1,000 subscribers because this is such a big milestone for me and I'm just so happy to have come this far and can't wait to see where the channel goes. But thank you guys as always for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.